just gonna pack up all my belongings here. I should probably take all this stuff with me, right? Uh. You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is two percent contained. Oh my God! Well, is this the June fire or the site fire? Or... Well, the two fires merged into this one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec? You know about things. About what? Um, everything. About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's gotta be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. Wait, what? I wouldn't even know where to begin. Well, Dude, fuck. the thing's going on again. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Okay, good call, good Look, call. If, if something happens... Nice. Okay, let's. I can't believe I almost forgot you, Shelly. Come on. You're coming with me. I'm not gonna leave you here. There you go. Just put you in my pack, alright? We, right? <laughs> we gotta cheese it, Shelly. We gotta cheese it, Shelly. We sure do. Oh, cheese it. Put on my hat. Um, save this whiskey for later. And let's see. What else? Anything else I need in here? Some jam. No, I don't need that. Uh, I think that that's just about it. I got my typewriter. I feel like I shouldn't leave these notes and stuff here, but uh, what, whatever. All right, let's do this. Gotta find the signal. And hopefully not burn to death, because I've never been this close to a wildfire in my life. Okay, it's this way. Straight west. What's your status? Oh, getting close. I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. <sighs> Come on, you're getting close, Hank. Oh, it's going crazy now. Whoa, I'm here. Henry, caller. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. What yeah, is that? Hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. What? You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave for Croc's sake. Uh. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up and Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. What? I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. 
You guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down a lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just, he just fucking didn't sink his ankle the right way. What? You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. What the f- What? We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Rad Dad Mega Dad. He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone. He's been deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Typed draft report. What's this say? Subject to Lila A43. Program status. Observational traits. Reliable. Observant. Charismatic. Selfish. Skewed perception of personal history. Pertinent. Observe facts. Never. Mm, fuck. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Research info, how to break in. Uh, Wapiti Station. Staff return August 10th to do. Return borrowed equipment, erase H&D evidence, leave no trace. What? <sighs> Holy moly. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. <laughs> this boombox looks familiar. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. So that's it? That's the mystery? It was Crazy Goodwin? He had quite the view. Radio logs. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. Saw Mama Grizz one morning. Randy Week. Haven't left base in two weeks, three weeks. Stir crazy. Big hike tomorrow to the cave. New lookout, Henry. Saw 2F come out of the cave. Calling for hikers list. Delay her, she'll forget. Uh, hiked to... Let's see, never called drunk again get a room reminder scout migration reminder hide supplies for migration record all comms vandalize D's tower try to make remote recording device move pit against each other oh my god this guy stake too high no one will believe B was happy they heard me fully believe there's a program use this report final make sure they find them 2F found supplies, keys gone, can't let 2F find B. Oh god, guys. I can't believe this entire time. It was so obvious though, wasn't it? It was the psychopath. And now he's burning down the entire park just to cover his tracks? <sighs> Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction, as they say. Okay, how did I get up here? I can't remember which way I came. I don't want to burn to death. Come on. Find the way out of here, Hank. This looks it. Attach rope. Here we go. <laughs> now I need to look at my map and find out which way I need to go. Hike north to thoroughfare, look out for evacuation. Okay, north, north, north. Just go north. So, 
Okay, I should be able to take Thunderhead Canyon and get out that way. Thunderhead Canyon, it is. Let's do it. Come on, Hank. We're going to live. yourself I can't up come stop on thinking about it you didn't do this you didn't do anything wrong yes I did and now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not and if I do I'm gonna be asked about Ned Goodwin <sighs> that is tough that is tough D? Oh, fuck. is that a helicopter dangerous here and and if anything were to happen then that would be on me so yeah you're right yeah um you sure that's okay i said it was all right um i should go have a safe flight all right have a safe hike all right now we got to get ourselves out of here Let's see take one more peek at that map Okay, I should be able to go this way. It says I could go this way. Let's see. There's got to be a path around here. Is it up here? Yeah, this... Here we go. I knew there was a path. Just keep going north. Let's pull out the old complicated compass. That's northeast. Do I want to go northeast? Yeah, I guess we should just follow this. Let's see. Yeah, it does kind of curve a little bit, so that's fine. Just stay on the path. It's all almost over, Hank. This whole crazy thing. But now we've got quite a story to tell. Actually, who could we tell this story to? This isn't really something that you share. Hey, want to hear about the time I saw a dead kid in a cave? People will think I'm a total weirdo. Rightly so. It's not something you just bring up in polite conversation. I'm getting really close now. We're, we're almost there. This... Summer, this wacky, crazy summer. I'm gonna put it behind us. Let's see, I'm going uh, east north. There we go. I think we just keep going up this way. Come on. And now jump down. There we go. Supply drop, thoroughfare. Perfect. I wonder if I'm going to actually meet Delilah. I'm a little nervous about that. I feel like we've gotten to know each other so well, but I've never actually met her. I wonder if she thinks that I really have a mustache. Ah, here's the tram. Get in, buddy. we got to pull ourselves... This thing seems unsafe at best. Okay. Good luck. Well, I made it across. And that's all you could ask for. This must be thoroughfare lookout. 
it's Delilah's outhouse there. And let's go take a peek at Delilah's lookout. Looks a lot like our lookout. Some little Delilah slippers there. Little water sack. Dishes. What do you got here? What do you got here? Mixed nuts. Mainland mixed nuts. Some good old Biff peanut butter. Uh, radio headset. Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> Look at it. It's the picture of me. <laughs> Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red, Colorado plates. Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Hey, come on now. Hey, that's a man's pickup you're talking about. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. <laughs> Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take oh long my God. for the helicopter to reach that's you. That's super creepy. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Well, shoot. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. All right, sure. Um, maybe... <sighs> what are we going to choose for old Delilah? Let's see. Um, oh my god. Should I ask? I'm going to do it, guys. Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, Ooh. Just just a thought. Oh. You don't want me down there. Oh, awkward. Well, just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. That, ooh. So, what about me? Ooh, that wasn't, that didn't go as well I as I planned. I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um, yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah, I do. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. Yeah. She won't even recognize me, Delilah. You're not just going for her. You don't know what it's like. <sighs> Bad things happen, okay? And you have to... You have to find a way to contain the damage. A good way. Well, hopefully I can figure out a way to do that. Yeah, I hope so. God, this got dark. It did. It got oh, dark. Sorry. Oh. Uh, there's the helicopter. Good. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. Well, that didn't go, uh... You too. Good luck. You keep it for yourself. Bye, Hank. Keep what for myself? The awesome picture that you drew of me? I will. I will keep that for myself. I'll take your tequila. And, uh, I'll leave you your Biff peanut butter. Okay, helicopter. Here I come. Well, that didn't go nearly as well as I'd hoped with Delilah. Still married to a woman with dementia. Gotta figure out that whole situation. Uh... I mean, oh boy, this man's got it rough. Came out to the Wyoming wilderness to try to figure out some answers, but you know what? I think he's leaving with more questions than he ever had before. This man has found no answers. Let's go home.
that's it, guys. I guess that's it. We're going to sit through these credits here just to make sure we don't miss anything, but I guess that's that's all she wrote. I, w I want some kind of an epilogue, though, you know? I, I feel like I need a little bit more closure than this. There's just this... This is, isn't going to do it for me. Okay, we've got some pictures here. Let's see. What is this? Oh, it's the pictures that I took, but I hardly took any. See, they're just all blank. Ah, uh, I should have taken more pictures. Should have taken more pictures. Okay, here's a few. Because I was like, oh, let's take... There was one used up, though. There was there was one used up when I when I found the pictures, though. Oh, I bet you it's going to show it. It's going to show the picture that was taken of little uh, Brian Goodwin and uh, and his father, probably. Okay, there's the burned down forest. Here it is. Oh, it's me. <laughs> it's the picture I took of myself when I first found the camera. That's right, little selfie. 1989 selfie for you. And it looks like just a picture like a somebody took of their pocket, maybe? Oh, look it. It's little Brian playing with his dinosaur. Roar! Dinosaur's gonna eat the Firewatch. And it's like, there's, a, there's old Ned, Ned Goodwin. And there's Brian, sweet old kid Brian. It is really too bad what happened to him. Who do you think took that picture? I don't think those pictures had timers, did they? I don't know, that's a mystery. Who took that picture, guys, hmm? That's a really good question. Well, I guess that's it. That's it. That's uh, that's Firewatch, guys. That's it's been a trip. I gotta say. Whoop. Nope. That's it. That's all. That's all she wrote, guys. I wish that things would have gone a little bit better with me and uh, Delilah, but you know, I guess I gotta take care of my shit. You know, can't run from your problems, which is what I was trying to do. I was trying to run from my problems. Now I gotta go to Australia and fix my problems. Well, guys, that's been Firewatch. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was a thrill ride. I kind of wish that it was a conspiracy. That's, But, you know, I guess that sometimes... Uh, I guess that's conspiracies for you guys. They're never as deep as you would think they are. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. And if you did, give it a like, give it a favorite. Be sure to subscribe and look for my next series, guys. I've got a series on the Flame and the Flood coming out, all right? So uh, look for me there. I'll see you then.